It's that Z, Zubo, no Hashima flow. Yeah, yeah. What's up guys, it's Mikko Lucci back with a new video and today I'll be making how to position a ZD carry and this time we'll be focusing on Lucia. I'll be explaining the laning phase a little bit. As you can see, my support is Brom and I'm Lucian and we're up against Nautilus and Draven. The enemy's comp is about to pick and all in. Nautilus can catch someone with his hook, they're probably going to all in. That's their strength. For us, it's almost the same. We don't really have a hook to catch, but we have Brom's passive. Now, once Brom's passive stacks, Lucian can get a real easy combo off and CC that target. So, therefore, we also have some sort of catch. Neither of us have any sustain, so it's very important not just to trade mindlessly. We really need to know when to go in and when not to trade. Alright, now that we know the strengths and the weaknesses of our laning phase, we can now look at our place and how we're going to position and how we're going to behave in this laning phase. We arrived at level 2 and we try to go all in because we know they do not have flash. As we go all in, they try to back off, which is good, they need to respect our all in. However, Draven oversteps just a little bit, enough for me and Brum to punish him. Immediately after Nautilus tries to go for a greedy Q and gets me. However, Draven is in no state to really follow up on this, since they're still level 1. I'm just trying to kite back until my cooldowns get back up, and once they're back up, I go in. Now this is a very greedy play, and I can only do this because I know both of their flashes are down. I go in, kill Nautilus and flash out. Right now I want to show you guys a very short clip on how to zone as Lucian. Because we now have an item advantage, thus having a sustain advantage because I went for Vampire Scepter, we can now start to zone the enemy AD carry. As you can see, you need to position quite aggressively if you want to zone out the enemy AD carry. Draven cannot really walk up because he knows that he has to, he has to choose between getting hit by me and getting the CS. Or trading with me and then risk getting low and me just healing back up because I got Vampire Acceptor. In the end we do fail a little bit because Brahm oversteps just a little bit too much and he will get punished immediately. Uh, we managed to get a one for one but yeah I hope you guys get the basic idea of how to zone when you're ahead. Alright guys, here I'm going to show you why you don't have to make flashy plays in order to carry your games. As I see Draven and Mundo coming in, I position right into the bush so they ca they have no vision on me. Then I unleash a combo on Draven, killing him almost immediately. Uh, I do have to flash out for Mundo because I do not want to get slowed and then get followed up by his team. Um, after I back off, I press my ult. It's a little bit bad, but it's whatever. But right now it's the most important thing. I can re-engage right here. If I do that, look at Kassadin. He's waiting for me. He's trying to get in on me and he's just waiting for me to misstep. I see this and I immediately just back off. I'm not even trying to fight. I'm just trying to stay alive here. Um, fortunately enough for me, Ramos does taunt him. I can go in right now and kill him, but I'm still not trusting it. Maybe the taunt doesn't uh, last long enough. So I'm just waiting just a little longer. Um, and after that, Kassadin uses his R away and I can freely go in and kill the rest of their team. Now because of that, we almost ace the whole team, we get Baron and we get Dragon and we get really far ahead. In this next part I'm going to show you something I did really good and something I did really really bad. So you can also learn from my mistakes. As you can see, their team tries to collapse on our team, we're trying to uh, death push them into that little bush you see us camping in. And I see Maokai's ult and I immediately move out of his ult range, which is all the way up to the top. I distance myself a lot from our team, but that's like the only thing that you can do as an AD carry. Because if that ult hits me, you can see that Maokai, instead of going on my teammate, will go on me. And I'm pretty much dead immediately. So I kite back, which is really good. I managed to get a one kill, almost managed, almost managed to get a second kill. And then you can see that we're losing that fight and... One of the reasons being uh, is because our Darius got uh, picked off in a split push. So it's already a 4 against 5. And what I should have done better right now is instead of trying to kite Kassadin, which outplays me with his uh, Zonya's Hourglass, really unfortunate, I should have instead of Eing downside, just moved up all the way to the top side and uh, take a run for it. However, I got a little greedy and you can see I get punished really hard for it. 
So next time when you see that the team fight is lost, don't try to greet for that one kill. It doesn't really matter. Just fuck off and you know, live to fight another day. I want you guys to look at the minimap right now and tell me what you see. You can see Kassadin in the bot brush and you can see Maokai there. Well Maokai, you can't see him right now, but you will see him once the video plays out. I see this and I notice that they are not in range to punish me. And we, we are going to siege. So how can I make this siege work? Once they're back in position, it's going to be a little bit harder for us to siege. So what I try to do is I try to bait out the team fight. Now this is not recommended if they can one shot you immediately. But I see two tanks up front and I'm like, okay. If I woke up right now, Nautilus is probably going to CC chain me. And that will trigger the rest of the team to engage the fight with us. So that's exactly what happens. I'm doing this on purpose, guys. Trust me, <laughs> this is not mispositioning. Um, I walk up way too much. I'm trying to hit the tower so that Nautilus will engage on. And he does. He engages on me and the rest of the team follows up. I try to kite back as much as possible. The chain CC is really hard. Kassadin still catches up to me, but I can flash out and I'm safe. And as you can see, the team fight is won pretty hard. It's very aggressive. Not always recommended, but just keep these things in mind. Also, when you're playing a game and you see the enemies of position, try to bait out the team fight when they're outnumbered or not in position. Now we arrive to our last clip. I won't be talking a, a lot about this clip because the positioning at the beginning was really bad. Uh, I was walking up front on my team and I get Nautilus ulted immediately so I had to flash out, but the rest was pretty good. I held my distance against the team and I kited as much as possible and we managed to finish the game. Now before the clip is gonna roll out, I just wanna say guys, if you didn't already, please subscribe to the channel, share this with as many people as possible and also check out my Twitch and my Instagram if your guys are interested. And without any other further ado, enjoy the clip.